Be a good example. There once was a set of twins that loved sugary sweets. They had many favorites, but they particularly loved anything with chocolate. Often, they would take their allowance and go to the local convenience store. It was close to home, and they had the very best selection of sweets. The manager, who knew them well, greeted them by name when they came in. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jeremy. What will you have today? I want chocolate-dipped gummy bears today, said Jenny. And I want a chocolate bar, Jeremy chimed in. The children took their time looking through the candy aisle. Once they had made their choices, they went to the register and handed the manager their money. Exact change. You guys are getting good at your math. Are you studying? asked the manager. The children laughed. Nah, we come here so much. We get lots of practice. When the children arrived home, their dad was doing chores. Hey, what do you have in your bag? He asked them. Jeremy piped in. Jenny got chocolate dipped gummy bears. Doesn't that sound yuck? And I got a chocolate bar. Doesn't that sound yum? Their father laughed and continued his work. Later that night, he reflected on his children's eating habits. He noticed they rarely liked healthy foods and really liked sweet ones. Since the children had their yearly doctor's checkup the following week, Dad decided he would talk to the doctor about this. On Wednesday, the family walked into the doctor's office. How you doing, kids? asked Dr. Katie. Her full name was Dr. Katie Desmond, but she liked the children to feel comfortable around her. She knew going to the doctor's office could be stressful for some. Great, they said. You know, Dad said as Dr. Katie was beginning her exam, I noticed how much the children are eating sweets. I know that is probably typical, but I'm getting concerned it is too much. Both the children groaned. Oh, Dad. How often do you eat them? Dr. Katie asked the children. Jeremy shrugged his shoulders. I don't know. Not that much. Jenny sighed. Well, kind of. We do eat them every day and sometimes, a couple of times a day, when we get our allowance, we like to go to the store near our house and buy candy. The last time I bought chocolate-covered gummy bears, blech, Jeremy said to the doctor. She laughed. Dr. Katie told the children the importance of eating all kinds of foods, not just the sweet things. When they arrived home, they all took a bike ride and Dad didn't mention sweets again. The following week, Dad sat the children down. Listen, you guys, I've been thinking about what Dr. Katie said. We do need to eat better around here, all of us. When we got home from your appointment, I took a look at what we've been eating. I looked through the cupboards, fridge, and freezer. Too much junk food. Why are you telling us now? asked Jeremy. Well, said Dad. I couldn't very well ask you to change your eating habits if I wasn't willing to do the same. So, after our appointment, I decided to quit eating sweets for a week to see if I could do it. The children stared. You didn't eat sweets for a whole week? Jenny exclaimed. No, and it wasn't so bad, Dad replied. But Dad, you want us to not eat sugar? Jeremy whined. No, you can have some, but not every day. Now let's make a plan. So the three of them sat down and made a healthy eating plan that all could agree upon. And yes, it did include sweets once in a while. The End <laughs>